hello, hello, it's Emma Holmes coming in from Rockstar HQ and today I want to show you around a um, social media planning tool that I've been using recently for my Instagram. So I would like to introduce you to Planoly. Now, I'm going to take you through the desktop version and the mobile version for you to have a look at and you can have a little bit of a look around and see whether or not it might work for you. So... Here we go. So here we are in the desktop version of Planoly and this is where you log in. You can see that my um, my Instagram account is attached and you uh, walked through this when you uh, get involved with um, Planoly and you can allow auto posting. So if you are new to it, you need to enable your auto posting, which is in um, my profile, and that will allow you to enable the um, app to automatically post over to your Instagram. So what you'll see here is you've got all. Now, this is great because what it means is that you can put in things that you haven't used yet. So here in my unscheduled, are images that I've popped in that haven't been scheduled into my um, Instagram feed. So they're images that I've gone, actually, I really like that. I want to hold that and I can just get rid of them if I use them in a different way or if I don't want to use them. And I can start to bring together a bit of a plan as to what I want to be using. So I've got stuff there now in the bag that I can schedule as and when I am ready to create my schedule. Your scheduled posts are here, so you can start to see what they're going to look like. So at the time of recording this, this is the most recent post that's gone out here. So I can see what kind of reactions the posts got. I can see what sort of comment levels they got. And I can start to see, you know, what it is that's working and what isn't working and what I might want to tweak and change. So I'm up to here on my schedule and then I've got these coming up and rolling through the schedule over the coming days, da, 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 all the way up to there. And I can also see at a glance where I'm up to. So um, I'm recording this video on the 30th of July 2018 and I'm currently scheduled up to the 9th of August. Now I'm probably a little bit more ahead of schedule because I'm going on holiday soon. So that is um, there a little bit further in advance than maybe it would normally be. So what else can you do? So you can schedule your stories, add new stories. So you can add um, things into your stories to be scheduled to go out within your stories. Now, I use this sparingly because personally, I feel that your stories are more in the moment, they're more at that particular point in time, and I find it um, nice to have kind of that more interactive approach to my story. So I'll use that sparingly. If I know that I'm not going to be around, then I'll schedule in some stories. Um, but generally, I'm doing them as I go. I can do um, multiple pictures. So you know when you're on Instagram and you can flick right through a number of pictures, then you can add those there. Your hashtags. Now, this is a great place to be. So I always had my hashtags saved in my notes in my um, on my iCloud so that I could use them on my phone, so that I could use them on my um, MacBook, so that I could use them on my Mac. So they were always saved in my notes section, but I can now take these in and I've thought that I would wait and show you how to do it. So I can copy those, I can shrink that back down and I can create a new group of hashtags. So create new group, I can add in the hashtags and I can call that my journaling group and I can press save. So I've got different hashtags coming in so I could pull that back up and I could go right okay so these are my community hashtags, copy those, da, 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 create new group and then I can add in a community, enter hashtags, save and they are going in there now to be used um, as I create a post and I'll show you how you do that shortly. So you can see what you've got going on, you can see the reactions to the posts, you can test different times of day, you can change things around, you can see um, everything within there. You can also take a look um, at what's going on with and without the details. 
and you can also look at with and without the comments. So you can look at it being predominantly about the number of interactions you've got, or you can look at it being about the comments that you've got. So you can go, oh, look, that was a real big one. Why did that get so many comments? You can have a look at what the picture was, and you can see how you want to work that into your future strategy. So it is a good thing to have. So in your unscheduled, it's great to be able to, like I say, pop in some posts that you might want to use um, again in the future. And you might want to bring through in different ways uh, there. So once you've got them in the schedule, you can bring them in as and when you want, or you can look at all of them. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a post and we're going to have a look at the posts that have gone out. And I like to have a little bit of a browse through and see what we've had going on in terms of imagery and things and what might make sense next. So if I was going to add new media, then I can just hit that, I can bring that in, and I can choose a form of media that I have got already saved. So that might be something that I've downloaded um, from a different uh, design tool, or it might be something that I've taken a photograph of, um, but really the mobile app is great for that one too. You can also add in a placeholder, so if you want to see what your grid's going to look like, but you've got a space missing, you can add in a coloured placeholder by simply hitting on it, going add one, and that brings it in. So I've got a placeholder there um, that I can um, use within the schedule that I've got. But if I want to get rid of that, let's get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go unscheduled and I am going to take this bad boy here. So he's a lovely little boy, isn't he? What's going to happen here is that he's the wrong size. So I have simply uploaded him, but he's currently the wrong size. So that means that it, yes, he will be able to post, but he won't be able to auto post because he's not hitting um, the right size for uh, Instagram. So I can just hit download on him because I might have found him on my phone. I might have found him while I was out and about. And I can just go into Canva. I can bring him into Canva. Da, da, da. There he is, all nice and yellow. Bring him into Canva. Hit him in there. And bring him to the right size and have him there ready. Once that's filled up, I can download him just like that. I can come back into Planoly as he downloads and I can go, right, okay, I'm going to swap that image. So I'm going to take it from my computer. There he is at the right size. So I'm going to swap him in just like that you can leave that in or do you know what you can take that out it's entirely up to you you don't have to be at their mercy to use the things that they want to um, ask you to use so what I might then do is I might type in the things that I want to type in or alternatively I might go and create um some content from somewhere else so this is a great way to reuse content and I know that this morning I've been working on a little blog um, that one there I grew up here by being sleeping beauty so I'm going to pull that in and I'm going to bring in these things here and so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring it over here so what we're going to do, I was talking the other week about the fact that I almost failed at one of the most important things in life, staying alive. But There was massive business and life lessons scattered throughout it. Let me take you through a couple. Da, 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 da. So then I'm going to just pop in some holding space so that it doesn't all come together. Usually when you've brought text in from somewhere else, the formatting does stay. 
so you do get that ability to have better formatted posts um, just some little thought points for you today big love Emma so what we're going to do is we're going to add that stuff in now I know from talking to you just a second ago that um, so I can just add those in look see how easy that is I, can, I was up to August the 9th so this is for August the 10th I'm going to change that to that time and I'm going to press save so he has now gone into um, well he is going into da -da -da -da, the schedule for then so if I look at the schedule scheduled post he's come in here at this side so he is there and ready to roll now I also like to put in a couple of um, quote posts so it might be then that I will create a quote post to go beside him for later on on Friday and then we can start to get things um, into the schedule so that's how you are using that desktop schedule so you've got your drafts that you can look at and you can actually create um, drafts there that that will be available so you could have draft stories where you put together um, a story draft you could do a grid draft um, so that gives you the ability to look at that discover gives you the ability to look at um, some hashtags and some things that you want to have a look at analyze allows you to have a look at um, your data and the things that are going on in your feed comments allows you to have a look at your comments views and um, that is really the desktop app in a little bit of a run through so I'll also show you the mobile app too so you can have a look at that and how you can create content within there have a great day bye now let's look at the mobile app version so here we are on the mobile and here is the Planoly app you see that Planoly and we can hit that and it takes us through to the feed. So that gives us um, the same view that we had on desktop. We've got unscheduled, we've got scheduled and we've got all again. So the real difference here is the fact that you will be able to go plus to your albums. And the great thing here is that the photos that you've taken while you're out and about and that are saved on your phone are here and ready to go. So you can go straight into your photography from your phone so i took some pictures of the moon the other night there's some businessy ones on there there's some other pictures that we can just then go through and start to highlight them and then just press the add button here and that brings them upload into our all section so you can see there it's now gone to all and we've got all of those pictures come in and we can start to use them. We can drag and drop the media around. So let's just um, come out of there for a second. Go back in. So they're there. We can drag imagery around and drop it. So we can start to create what we want it to look like. So for example, we could take this one and go, right, okay, so this one here actually would work better next to that one there and if we brought that one up there and brought that one over then we've started to get some idea of where we want to plan these things in so it gives us that opportunity to start to just pull them about and plan them in again we can just hit on the post we can add in our own information so we can go have you taken Oops, sus. Your stuck quiz. Ooh, that's not right, is it? Yet. Okay, so then we can press OK. We've got the ability again to add in our hashtags from our saved hashtags that I showed you on the desktop so we could just go um, add and then we've got the ability to schedule it with a little rolly there so we can schedule it as and when 
um, we choose to. Or we can simply update it and leave it sat in our all section rather than our scheduled section to add that in as and when we want to. So that gives you the ability to uh, do it. The little S at the top is your stories plan. So you can go in and schedule in your stories. You can go back to your grid. Again, you can see unscheduled, scheduled media, all media. So you can see what you've got going on there. Uh, down here, that's grid there. That's calendar. So it's going to show you where everything is on your calendar. Your stats. So you can see what's happening on your stats and what's going on um, on the stats that you've got there. You can add your posts there. And then you've got the ability to look at your account in the same way as you've got on desktop. So it's super, super easy to use. And I think as mobile apps go for social media scheduling, it is one of the better ones. So I really like it. So I hope that's been super useful for you. Speak soon. Bye. So if you're interested in using Planly, there is a little link around this video for you to go and have a look.